Hello everyone, so in the last video you saw me just connecting the smaller roof to the main roof and um, putting some studs in these gable ends. So what I've done this morning, I'm back on the job obviously, is uh, boarded at one end and um, I've set myself up a little sort of cutting station, just nailed some bits of off cuts to the rafters, saves bringing a stand up here and everything. So yeah, uh, this side is done. Uh, didn't film it because you know, you've seen me putting feather edge on, feather edge on already. Um, and the other end now is to do, as I said, put my membrane on and now I should just carry all the way up and get, the, get that boarded. We ran out of feather boarding, it was actually uh, last week, so it's a new week. So we put a temporary cover over just so um, we could get on staining the barge boards and fascias because um, it's been quite wet here, British summer, obviously. So we've just finished that off and I'm gonna show you what my job is next. Well, then what I'm working towards next is trying to get these rafter feet cut off so we can get those painted black because it'll be really difficult to paint them from underneath. Um, also, the timber's slightly damp. So hopefully we're gonna get those done before it starts raining again. So as I explained, I think in one of the previous videos, what I've done is left this boarding down 35 mil. And what that's enabled me to do is fix this packer on here. Now, the reason I've done that is a few reasons. Uh, sort of A, it gives a lot more meat for the roofers to tack their undercloaking to. But also, if I just use this piece of featherboard as an example, if you pretend that this was the barge uh, when that fixes on it gives something nice to fix to nice and straight to fix at the top and it also comes out this spacer here is 31 mil which is exactly the same projection as the boarding so if you can just see when I put my barge on there I'll fix where my thumb is I'll fix that into the top of that spacer piece there and then it'll, it'll then fix down through uh, into the board where the studs are so it just keeps it nice and neat and straight. So I've just got to fix those down each side here now. And then what that enables me to do, um, this barge board, as it runs down, I'm gonna continue it straight into this fascia. So basically I've got to get, I've got to know the line of my barge board so that I can know the line of the uh, fascia and then I can use that measurement and cut all of the rafter feet off so they can get on and get those stained. I could have got these stained earlier, but if you stain them black before you cut them off, it makes it much more difficult to see your pencil lines to cut them. So it's just a little bit more convenient to cut them first and then stain them afterwards. So better crack on. So as I explained, the front side of this packer piece that I put on is the back side of the barge and consequently the fascia. So what I've done is plumbed the line down from here, put it onto the rafter foot and taken that measurement from back from the plate, which in this instance, I'm going imperial is seven inches. So I've marked my seven inches that end and I've pulled a line through and marked them all to the line. Now I'll just rip them all off.
handsaw for that one. Nice. Nice. So we've been cracking on and it's been uh, sunshine and showers today so we've been sort of in and out a little bit but anyway it's nice and sunshine now everything's dried out got all the rafter feet cut off and they've been painted fat black with their first coat we paint them black first because once this is all cloaked in it'll be very difficult to get up underneath I've put a row of noggins in here which is in line with the wall which basically when I bring my boarding up gives it something to fit against in fact if I show you what I've done around the other side we'll get a better idea so here we can see, this is the noggin I talked about. And then what I basically do is bring the boarding up. This course gets notched around uh, this rafter here. And then obviously we, we carry the gauge all the way up. And then there's just this short bit in here, which fixes to this noggin. And it's all kept in the line of the roof so that when we put the plywood on top, because it's open eaves, it, it all seals it off and gives it something to support it. If you imagine that this was the ply, that just sits on the top there like that. So it, it, um, it seals it all off, stops any insects and stuff get, getting in. So it makes a nice, neat job when you look underneath. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna carry on with that round the back, same as I've done here.
old. So you can see, that's nicely cut round. See that I can't even see what I'm looking at. That's nicely cut round those. And then the next course that goes in, uh, we just cut down so it terminates in the side of the raft. We don't actually have to cut it down below there. So it just looks neat and tidy. You don't really see much of it because it's right up under the eaves, but you know, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing properly, I suppose. Now what I can do is measure up my gauging up here and then just take a measurement from here to here and, and rip these last bits down and fix them in, bring them up flush with the top like I did the other side and that's that ready for the ply then. Cracking. Done. So now put the facial on here and then when the ply goes up and over it, it's going to cloak all this in nicely. It's going to look fantastic from up under there. Obviously all of this is going to have a, a top coat on. This is just a sort of uh, barn black cladding. It's got a sort of base coat or something, I don't know, so it always needs a top coat. It's not a finished coat. So, yep, absolutely fantastic. So where are we at now? That's that side done, that other end's done. So we can actually have a look at, we've got to get one more coat of black on these rafter feet, so I won't do any more today um, until they've had their second coat. It looks like it's going to be tomorrow, put the fascia on, put the ply on top, and then I can just finish off by doing these barges. Uh, these are going to clip on, lovely, it's going to look super neat and tidy, and then do a little bit of magic or something down here where this barge comes down and it's going to run straight into the fascia. So I'll have to decide how I'm going to join that. Um, anyway, I'll decide that when I come to it. And, and then obviously the roof is coming in this afternoon. He's going to tell us, he's coming to measure up. He's going to tell us what he wants in this valley. And um, probably going to be knobbed out, maybe plied. I don't know, it depends what, uh, what uh, valley tray he's going to use in there. But yeah, looking really, really good. Got this other gable end to do yet, but I think what I'm going to do um, is get all of this bit, all of the main roof done and this bit done. And then I'll just set up some sort of scaffold on the end there and do that last thing I think so yeah really pleased with that coming on nicely so yeah we're really sort of starting to chase it all into a corner now you can see once every little job we get done is uh, one job closer to being finished I mean that's that's obvious but um you know we really have got it on the run now and um, can see this see the completion of this roof so the roof can start looking absolutely fantastic and get it all felt and battened in get it in the dry and then we can start having a look inside to what bits and bobs need doing in there. So I think that might be it for this video. Um, I think what I'll do is probably do one more video showing me doing these barges and the fascia. So uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching.